Hawken full stock 54 caliber percussion cap rifle I've been shooting it here a little bit I just got this gun I've been having a blast getting it just playing around with it basically um, this is a Hindmarch rifle and I actually talked to the guy who built this gun he built a dozen guns back in the 80s and the early 90s um, for you know custom guns for various guys and uh, he remembers this one specifically because it was the only full stock Hawken in a 54 caliber that he made. So pretty, pretty stoked. Got the, it's got a you know fairly a non fancy I guess you'd call it maple stock. There's just a wee bit of tiger flame happening there, but not fancy at all. Um, it's got three wedges on the barrel. It's a full stock one piece stock. Beautiful. Um, Siler lock on it, percussion. The sights, I do believe, have been changed. Everything is browned on this rifle except for the sights. These do not look like original. He was doing reenactment shooting at the time, as were the guys he was building guns for. So I'm sure that um, he will have put period correct sights on these rifles. And these are definitely not what I would consider period correct. This is more of a hunting sight. Uh, whereas it would have been a fairly good sized blade on there probably and The rear might have had a ladder adjustment But it might have been a different style. It might have just been a buckhorn, you know um, This one is kind of got the buckhornish look to it. It is adjustable though, but it shoots straight. It's on target. So I've been uh... Sorry, I'm kind of the cameras on the van right now, so I'll step back and chat with you. So I've been, uh, the first time I shot it, you know, I had no idea what the gun was doing or, you know, I mean, this is a used gun. So I was pretty careful. When I got the gun, I completely disassembled, cleaned everything, went through it all from the top to bottom and, uh, you know, reassembled. I was, I was satisfied. I mean, the person who I sold it, or who sold it to me is a reputable dealer here in Saskatchewan. They're actually really the only uh, muzzle loading shop um, that's around. Um, Hill Folk Musket Supplies is what they call themselves. Now I've been using a couple different things. I tried a couple rounds with a, a spit patch, but I'm working on a, a patch lube that I come up with. And it's a uh, it's a a lard base with a little bit of mineral oil in it um, to help you know keep it from getting hard and rancid and stuff like that and I gotta say it hasn't gone rancid on me I made this stuff a year ago and uh, never really got around to to giving it a good solid test run so It seems to be working reasonably well. So we'll we'll see. See how it is. Mainly what you guys are going to see is smoke. So I'm at uh, 50 yards shooting a gong. Um, I was up at 25 yards. I was ringing a, a six inch gong, you know, fairly consistently. This is a totally different gun for me. So, I mean, yeah, you guys are saying, you know, well, what's that? That's nothing. Well, for me, it's something because the last gun I had was a Lyman trade rifle. Uh, it wasn't half of this rifle, literally size wise, um, stock length, all that kind of stuff was different. So, um, it's a big deal for me, you know. Uh, this is still all fairly new to me, and I keep checking the, the wedges because uh, one was loose when I when I disassembled it, and so I adjusted it there. Anyway, here we go. Set triggers. Right on. Right on. About a... An inch low and an inch right. 
but that's 50 yards. I'm really happy with that. That's the, the fifth shot and I haven't swabbed through the barrel at all. Uh, so I'm happy with my patch lube so far. I think it's doing a pretty bang up job. I'm gonna take a couple more shots here and uh, see how it goes. Cheers.